It's been a lot. <laughs> it has been a lot. I am trying to give Wendy Williams, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm trying to give Samantha Ponytail. I have been out with that thing and I just wanna come in and share my experience, the symptoms, like things that I feel like is misleading in the news. And also because somebody made a really good point, like this era is gonna go down in history so misinterpreted. Like I think it's really important to document stuff like this. So we're here. My boyfriend got it first. I love my boyfriend and he got it from his job and his job does have a lot of people I would consider it a high risk environment. We had gone the whole three years of the pandemic without getting infected. We didn't even get vaccinated until August. August of 2021 so we were thugging it out for a long time but we just knew that this round was going to be different and we might want to protect ourselves type of deal and look we were right because we ended up getting it the first damn near the first week of the year this is me on the 10th of January I look normal not sick not looking like I eat like you know um the next day Daniel tested positive and like he was doing some coughing shit and I was like ew you got it and he's like no I don't I do not have it do not put that on me what else like you got it like we got the at home test he took it but the at home test that we had expired in December so we're still and I took the test too and it was negative so we're just like okay maybe um it's just a flute test and that's why it came up that way Girl, no. I went to my grandmother's house with a mask on, of course, because my grandma is high risk, um, but she got like a booster and everything. Um, and she never got COVID throughout this whole thing, thank God. But I went over there and I got a test and he came up positive again. And yeah, so I was in denial in the beginning because I thought it was gonna be like the other two variants where you could like be in the house with the person and like, you know, do all that stuff. No no not this no not this time not this time i really thought that i was going to be able to cohabitate with with my boyfriend because our house we do have a duplex so i was going to be upstairs he was going to be downstairs because there's more ventilation like we had it planned out we were going to do the mask disinfectants um his mom came by and dropped off a care package on night one like when he tested positive yeah i really thought that i was going to be able to not get infected but no literally the next day I start coughing like literally the next day the 12th I start coughing so I was in denial as well I was in denial <laughs> I was in denial as well I'm like no it's not that like and then I took my temperature I, I was starting to get a fever and I'm like no no like in denial and at this point daniel was like f this mask like we're in it together now like we got it like it is what it is so i hit up my people i let my people know that i had it just in case because the last person in our family that did have it ha did have it they had the delta and they had to be hospitalized and put on a freaking breathing machine and that whole experience is what even spooked me into getting vaccinated i made sure to let my people know i made sure he let his people know and that everybody was informed some of you guys know, some of you guys don't. I mean, if this is your first time seeing me, hey, I bet this is very chaotic. I'm usually not this, you know, like I'm usually not, you know, but I'm feeling myself anyway. Um, Cause I'm not sick anymore and my skin is clear from sweating it out. I have one scar. I had a COVID pimple cause I was so stressed, but, but anyway, if this is your first time seeing me, you don't know. Uh, my name is the Voodoo Child for a reason. My dad is Haitian. My mom is Puerto Rican. So my dad's very, like he's always passed down um, certain little tips and tricks from my grandmother. Cause my grandmother passed when I was really, really young. Like I remember her and everything, but she passed when I was really, really young. But he gives me a lot of her recipes and little stuff like that. So, you know, I made me some Haitian tea. You know, I made me, I made me some, and it was, ooh. It, you thought, look, Theraflu is like the colonized version of what 
<laughs> well, I was drinking, girl. I was drinking that thing. The batch I posted online wasn't really like ready yet. I, I, it was dark and good and it was just so great. Um, it was just really awesome to see when I did post that I had it. So many people reached out to me that I did not, and I'm just about to be real. I be getting imposter syndrome sometimes. Like, I be forgetting that I'm a very well-liked person and that I have friends that do not live here. Like, I have my people, homies from college that are out of state hitting me up. It was just really cool to see, like, you know, I'm loved. Like, what do you mean? It was just so dope to, like, you know, and just, like, talk about symptoms with other people. A lot of people were losing their taste and smell so i was really scared like that i was going to inevitably lose it um my dad also got covid like a week before me so he was telling me how he didn't lose his smell until like the the end of the week and stuff everybody was telling me oh yeah i lost my smell at the end of the week end of the week but i noticed and i'm not trying to push any propaganda i'm just gonna say what i'm what i have come in contact with talking with people a lot of people that got vaccinated did not lose their taste and smell this time I did not lose my taste and smell ever. I was able to taste the smell the whole time. Like my shit was bad, but I know it could have been hell. Like it could have been hell. So yeah, it just felt really nice. Of course, you know, you gotta have some people that gotta, you know, kick you when you're down. You know, I'm over here running a fucking a hundred fever and some fucking bum bitch. <sighs> gave it to my comments with this shit like bro i don't know who needs to hear this but if you comment on somebody's youtube channel we could click on your profile and see all the comments that you have left on that channel don't be a fucking hater in 2022 it's not cute especially like come on girl and, and if you make a burn and if you try to rebrand a google account as a burner like it still shows your stuff like it's just not cute it's not p at all like leave it it's what like no like who does that like who does that when somebody is sick as fuck i really thought girl i'm looking at this footage i really thought i was gonna be able to vlog through this look at this this shit sucks so this is january the 15th this is what i look like on the 15th y'all when i tell you my hair was so dry it was screaming for life dude like uh so this was the what the five day mark january 15th and this was my temperature on the 15th. Yeah, we watching the um, 85 South show. <laughs> and I did Daniel's and that's how much he was on the 15th. Daniel was positive on the 11th. I was positive um, like literally the 13th, 12th, 13th, right? It's so funny because right before this, I was talking to Daniel about how I need a vacation and we both need a vacation because we're fucking workaholics and we deserve a vacation. And he literally somehow got me into agreeance that we don't need one and god sat us the fuck down and was like no y'all need to freaking rest so one of the things that we do is we have a podcast together i'll put the link at the end of this video but we have a podcast together and we go weekly and we just couldn't go in the office because we didn't want to contaminate shit so we like did this makeshift thing outside in the living room and i really thought like bro do not do this if you have c19 do not drink alcohol it's not the same as the flu and shit where you could like sweat it out when i tell you that night i was like oh, okay you know i'm gonna have me a little i'm gonna have me a little hotty toddy i'm gonna mix the ginger with some you know little little cognac or whatever <laughs> No ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. I woke up the next morning and I felt like I got hit by a train going 250,000. Like I, my brain was splitting. I've never felt a headache like that in my life. I could not even like blink like that shit hurts so bad and yeah i did have the headaches from the because this the uh, omarion that shit gives you headaches like a bitch like i was having headaches but this headache was different like it hurt so bad so on the 17th we got tested again now mind y'all getting tested and i really wanted to say this for the documentation purposes getting tested and the first the first month of 2022 was damn near fucking impossible the day before i even tested positive for c19 i was actually going to a clinic just to get like a physical 
and I was waiting there for three hours like because there were people in there trying to get COVID tests you couldn't even get a before you could go online and get a test within like 24 hours or you can go to the Walgreens your pharmacy and pick up a immediate test no ma'am it was done you couldn't you couldn't and then it even came to the point where they put on the news that you could order a test from the U.S. Postal Service. So yeah, if anybody out there, you still need to get a test, go ahead and do it. I ordered mine from the U.S. Postal Service on July, January the 11th. It is now January the 27th as I am filming this. And I still don't have a test. So it's snail mail, girl. But yeah, you only get four per household. So even if you and somebody else you live with tries to apply for it, they won't let it happen. So anyway, we go and get tested at this freaking Walgreens in Ponte Vedra because all the other ones are just booked and we couldn't find any. So here's us taking our freaking test. This one's big. Mm -hmm. You should get the resulting in one tool. Oh, okay. perfect. We'll Thank you so much. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. This is our doctor, dude. Look how sketch this is, bro. We had to like go out the side and like go in the back. They were treating us like freaking lepers, bro. I mean, as as they should, as they should, because this shit is so contagious. And when I tell you, I feel like even right now that I'm talking to you, I feel like my voice is no longer the same from before. I, I do live streaming on Wednesdays and the first live stream I came back, I had so much mucus and I was negative at that time. Like I just feel like I sound like a smoker now. Like I smoke cigarettes or some shit. I don't know. It's giving like Joan Rivers, like, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Daniel's job told him that he could be gone for 10 days. I really think that you need the full 14 days. This is me on January the 20th having a freaking mental breakdown because my fever would not fucking break. I'm fucking pissed. I'm so pissed, bitch. I'm so fucking tired of being sick. Like, this is so stupid. Like, I'm losing so much fucking weight. I look like a fucking skeleton monster. Like, <laughs> I'm fucking scared. Like, I know this is just COVID. And I keep telling myself, it's when you've got COVID, bitch. You got COVID. You got COVID. Like, you're okay. You got COVID. If you have anxiety and you get this shit, like, I I feel so bad for you, bro. Like, because I think everything is wrong with me under the fucking sun right now. I can't keep no food down. Like, I cannot keep any fucking food down. So I'm drinking vitamin C packets. And I ate a banana. I ate half a fucking banana and a bowl of fucking grits. I'm done doing everything, like... I thought this was going to be like normal sickness, you know, like when you get sick, you stay home, you drink a hottie toddy. I'm done drinking alcohol for the rest of my life. I'm done. I can't do this shit no more, bitch. I'm smoking weed. That's it. I'm going back to my roots. I can't do this shit no more. I'm, I'm keeping it natural. Shit, I might go pick up a rotisserie chicken just to get some protein. Like, I'm so fucking desperate. I'm so fucking desperate right now. My head. What day is it, bitch? Like, what day is it? It's been... It's day, like... 10... 
And I felt better on day five. I gotta go, y'all. I need to get an ice pack and calm down. I just felt really emotional just now and wanted to document it. It is so sick. Like, bro, when I tell you at that moment, I just wanted to just end it all, bro. I was just so ready to check myself into somebody's hospital. Like, I was just so over it. I couldn't keep food down. Um, luckily, I did not have... Um, let me see. What are all the symptoms? I'll tell you which ones I did have. Okay. I had fever and chills. Like, when I tell you I was sweating in the bed, I was sweating in the bed. Like, I was sweating, and then I needed a blanket, and then I did it, and then I did it, and then I did it, and I did it. Like, yes. It was a lot. Just very hot feeling. And the scary thing is, is I was so hot, but I didn't feel hot. Like, I felt like I could just... And that's why I said this thing is so contagious, because, like, I felt normal temperature wise until i was asleep you know daniel was always had a higher fever than me though i did have a cough the shortness of breath okay day one day one after i was out of denial like you know that first day you got that little cough but you still feel normal you don't you know nah right after i woke up the next day and it was like game on somebody gonna get touched on my rion like game on right so i would breathe in and right here like right here bro felt so tight like oh i was so scared bitch i was so scared i was like oh my god i'm about to be out of here bitch like bro like i was so scared because what i didn't want is to end up because i am a smoker i do smoke okay i'm be i'm a medical marijuana patient in the state of florida so i'm over here like oh my god i'm about to be on the oxygen tank like i'm <laughs> I was so scared, but it only happened for that one day and then it was done And then it was done girl um Fatigue tons of fatigue. I was taking naps randomly sleeping long sleeping short like I was up more at night than I was in the daytime <laughs> Like it was a mess um, muscle or body aches my back was on fire My back hurt so much bro. Like oh my god. I used one of these one of these little foam roller things my back was felt i felt like miss gladys mr eugene like i my back was fucked up dude my back was messed up headache yes the headache was hell i told you there was just one day where that shit just really broke my spirit like i was so depressed because that shit hurt so bad and the headache made me nauseous and I threw up like I was I, and I hate throwing up oh my god it was just so shitty it was so shitty loss of taste or smell never lost my taste or smell sore throat never got a sore throat and a lot of people with the newest the Omicron got the sore throat I never got a sore throat congestion or runny nose I did not have congestion I was able to breathe the whole time but my nose was runny and I did have to blow it but I could breathe the whole time through my nose uh, nausea or vomiting that one time because of the headache because it was just too fucking much like way too much and I it didn't put this on here but I had no appetite I had no appetite at all I literally had to do timers to remind myself to eat to the point where I was on like hella I was malnourished like I know I was malnourished like I had to take hella pedialytes hella vitamin c's um, my family was sending us like vitamin packs and stuff and soups that had certain like iron magnesium like just things that I really needed because I was I was down kind of bad Daniel bounced back quicker than me I was down kind of bad and I think it's because of my diet <clears throat> my diet was very restrictive before I got sick I was vegetarian so yeah I mean and I mean judge if you want to because the the vegan and veggie girls be coming for me too with they fucking privileged asses um, but my ass was definitely eating some chicken noodle soup with the soda on the side with that COVID girl. Like I needed that protein. I was not about to die about this shit. Health is, uh, health is superior to anything, bro. Like he your health and your mind, because, oh my God, it was messing with my mind. That shit was so trippy. Like you saw that video of me crying, bro. What helped me with the, the mind stuff was I got B, vitamin B supplements. My mom sent me like this big vitamin b and it just helps so much and i pair it with um fish oil magnesium for like the anxiety stuff like i was just on a lot of vitamin cocktails 
tons of water and if I did eat something I focus more on quality than quantity okay whereas before my usual diet um, I'm about to eat like a, a pack of ramen and then I'm gonna eat some vegan wings and then I'm gonna eat some fries and then I'm gonna and it's like no we need to eat our four bananas like I said earlier muffins like we need to keep it cute because no it's not the time to be eating those spicy shit like and it was not the time to be drinking no alcohol like I, I did have to stop drinking in, in order for me to fully recover um yeah because I remember in the first wave people were getting drunk and getting vaccinated and then going out to the club so I just thought that I could be in the safety of my own home and drink but no I could not um so yeah the medicine I use just um normal mucinex just oh, over the counter mucinex vitamins multivitamins b12 vitamin c packs uh and making sure i get quality food in me rather than big ass you know like just make sure i'm eating stuff with that's full of protein and all that you know so yeah that's pretty much it i'm just gonna wrap this up uh if you're watching this right now and you do have c19 um i hope you get better i hope you're getting better um and i hope you're staying hydrated getting lots of fluids and um yeah just relax and taking it easy hopefully somebody is watching this in future tense where this thing isn't even a big deal anymore you know that's like what i really hope like honestly and um thank you guys again for all of the well wishes especially on my community posts i really hate taking breaks because youtube is not nice to us creators when we take breaks especially two week long breaks um but shoot god wanted me to sit down and relax for a second and um focus on my health um and yeah if anybody out there has it again like be po stay positive stay positive it's i know it feels uncomfortable i know it feels not normal like it'll it'll pass it will pass um thank you guys again stay tuned okay i'm coming with some new content uh more me content on top of the try tea content all right Okay, I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.